Uh, my question is to the Minister of Foreign Affairs and reads as follows. Will she urge the Indonesian government to stop the abuse of the human rights of West Papuans protesting against the further division of their country into provinces against their wishes? Uh, the Honourable Hanaya. Mr Speaker, as we conduct our diplomatic engagement on a range of issues, we fully respect Indonesia's sovereignty and territorial integrity. Aotearoa New Zealand continues to register its concerns with Indonesian authorities about human rights situations in Papua. These are issues I discussed personally with the Indonesian President Widodo and Foreign Minister Masuri during my visit to Indonesia in November last year. I discussed these issues again with Minister Masuri in Paris in February this year. In my engagement with the Government of Indonesia, I've encouraged them to deliver on the goals and principles underpinning special autonomy for the benefit of all Papuans, including recognition of the rights of Indigenous peoples in Papua. Supplementary. 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 Does she still support the call from the Pacific Islands Foreign Leaders for the Office of the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights to be permitted to visit West Papua? And if so, what will she do in addition to meeting with the Commissioner? Mr Speaker, Aotearoa New Zealand supports the Pacific Islands Forum approach for open and constructive engagement with Indonesia regarding the human rights situation in Papua and the leader's call for the office of the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights to be permitted to visit Papua. When I met with the High Commissioner for Human Rights, Michelle Bachelet, in Geneva this year, I was clear that Aotearoa strongly supports the work of the United Nations Human Rights Council and encourages all states to allow access for visits. Uh, we're going now to Gaurav Garama, joining us remotely. 